Hey, good morning. It's September 20th, Friday, 2024. And we're at the scene of the uh, Saratoga Auto Museum Auto Auction. I'm gonna take a quick walk around and check out some of the vehicles that are on sale this weekend. Uh, especially nice is this popcorn truck. In the process of making some popcorn this morning. So we're dishing it out all day today. Some of the uh, featured premier cars are going to be uh, in the next row over here. Some Mercedes. Ferrari, one of, I think, 15 that were built in this color. Very rare. Nice Shelby GT. Mustang. Viper. Porsches. Couple of Lamborghinis. Ferrari. Dodge Challenger RT. 1,100 horsepower. Unbelievable. Beautiful old Land Rover. And of course, this beautiful old hearse. It's a Cunningham Cathedral hearse, 1929, I believe. Kind of cool, but kind of kind of freaky at the same time. This looks like something should be in the something that came out of the show from the Munsters at any rate moving along look at this beautiful Roadrunner 1969 when I was in college I'm sorry when I was in high school I worked at a Chrysler Plymouth dealer during 69 70 71 when these came into the lot uh, they were just unbelievable muscle cars. They still are. Beautiful Mustang. Here we have a 1975 Volkswagen, three win 13 window, 13 window van. These have become quite collectible. This one's in nice condition, very nice condition. And as we go down the line on the other side, we got a Mach Mustang, Mach 1. Cobra jet engine, 428 probably, 428, 1969, very, very nice Jag E-Type, another old Jag, this is a 120, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, 1956 Jag XK140. Porsche, an early GTO, it's a sleeper, beautiful car, again these were from uh, days when I was in high school and all my rich friends' dads bought them cars just like this to play around with, now they're worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe not that much but they're definitely collectible cars, beautiful Corvette. Black. I believe this one, yep, this is the 427 turbojet, big block, side exhaust, very desirable Corvette. Looks like it's in great condition. It's a 66, 427, 390 horsepower. Very nice red interior. 
I wouldn't mind having that one. I mean, this is just some of the featured cars that are kind of out here in the open. As you can see, this tent uh, directly in front of us, that's the auction tent. You'll see a GT40 right now on display. That's the featured car of this year's auction. That tent is the auction tent. That tent behind the, hosp behind the popcorn tent, that's hospitality. More featured cars, high-end cars under that tent. And then we have these tents. One, two, three full of cars that'll be going through the auction today, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, it's still early and nothing has really gotten going yet. Auction starts at noon today on Friday, I believe. But uh, here's that GT40. We'll take a little closer look at it. This is probably six, seven hundred thousand dollar car, I would guess, but I may be way off. Sure is a beautiful car. Some of the uh, memorabilia that will be for sale. Let's take a walk through the uh, this tent, which has just memorabilia in it for sale. This will be going up for sale um, today, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> Just take a quick peek, walk through here, see some of the interesting paraphernalia, memorabilia. How about that, some old Coke bottles. Manuals, books, magazines. Porsche mailbox. How about a Rolex wall clock, huh? How about that? That's kind of unique. Anyway, posters. Beautiful posters. Signs. Posters. Anybody need a traffic signal? You get two for the price of one. All right. Nice display case full of model cars. Some helmets of significance, I would guess. You can buy the front end of a Ford Mustang for your wall in the house. A few specialty tires, mainly for Ferraris, upper high-end hypercars. They're just huge. There's a wheel, the slicks. These are all for sale today. Ford signs, dealer signs, Chevrolet. Spark plug's kind of cool. I like that one. What an engine block coffee table. Certainly can't go wrong with that in your man cave. And we have a whole bunch of Ferrari exhaust systems. These are taken off of Ferraris. These are the original factory exhaust systems that were taken off of cars and aftermarket systems were put on. Not sure what the market value of these are because once you take them off, put new uh, new exhaust on, who wants to put an old exhaust back on your car? I don't know, maybe somebody. Anyway, it's all for sale. More exhaust systems signs. It's a cool V8 sign right there. And we have some body parts for Ferraris. Need a complete Ferrari fender. Ferrari 488 front fenders. Rocker panels. I mean, it's a little bit of everything. All right, that gives you an idea of what some of the uh, memorabilia that will be going up for sale today and tomorrow is at the auction. How about a uh, ice cold Coca-Cola vending machine that has been churned, turned into this chair. It's kind of unique, kind of cool. 
And if you can't afford the real Ford GT, you can buy half of one for your wall. How about that, huh? Pretty nice. I'll just take a quick walk down the rest of these rows here, more signs. Somebody will collect these, put them in their garage. Pretty interesting stuff. I like this Mercedes picture here. This is pretty cool. Ferrari clock. Poster for the Nürburgring racetrack over in Europe. Yeah, that's about it in the memorabilia tent. So I found this Porsche. It's a new one and it's for sale. It's kind of in the Porsche corral here. Um, I think I might have made a mistake not buying this car because it's beautiful. Look at that thing, huh? It's got a five-speed manual transmission. The only deterrent that I found is uh, you know, the tan interior. Otherwise, well, yeah, and the price. So $315,000 is what the new Porsches are selling for now. I was kind of surprised, but apparently this one is top of the line. Very nice.